Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome to today's Grip on God's Word. Let's get started here today. Today we're going to venture into the life of Joseph. He's one of my favorite uh, characters in the Bible. My title today is The Power of a God-Led Positive Attitude. My G, Genesis 37, 3 and 4. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other sons because he had been born to him in his old age, and he made him a richly ornamented robe for him. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. My reveal today, Joseph was led by God, and he showed his trust in God by maintaining a positive attitude through all of his trials. Let's go through his trials, guys. His father's love or his favoritism from his father led his brothers to not like him. The dreams he had about his family that God gave him made his brothers really dislike him that much more. He was uh, betrayed, deserted, sold into slavery. He found favor with Potiphar, but then he was falsely accused by Potiphar's wife. He lost his good job. He was put in jail. He helped the cupbearer. Then the, hup, the cupbearer got out and he forgot about him. And he, uh, and he was left in jail for two more years. Finally, the cupbearer remembers him because he can't answer some of Pharaoh's questions. And he says, I know a Hebrew kid that can help you out right here. So uh, Pharaoh gets him out of jail and he answers Pharaoh's uh, dreams and he gives all the credit for that to God. And you can just see what a good attitude he has with this. And then Pharaoh puts him in charge of everything that's getting ready to happen and to uh, provide for all the people in the next uh, few years are they going to have some famines going on. His good attitude and trust in God got him through all of this. Look at what it did for him. His positive attitude won over his father, Potiphar, the warden, the cupbearer, Pharaoh, and in the end, we're going to see that it won over uh, his brothers. My implementation, I want to always have a positive attitude and to trust God. I have to give my dad credit for this positive attitude. As a kid, when I was growing up, sometimes my attitude wasn't too good, and my dad would go, A-T-T-I-T-U-D-E. I hate to admit to this, guys, but I heard that more often than uh, I really wanted to hear that, but uh, it did help me straighten up a little bit with my attitude. Uh, through the love of God and my dad, my attitude's pretty good today. Let me pray, my prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for my dad. You know, he passed away in a, a year ago now, and uh, just I miss him a little bit, and just I'm thankful for him, and I'm just glad I can talk about him today. I just ask you to continue to be with me, guide me, look after me, help me to keep a good attitude, and just help me to, to love you and, and do the things that you want me to do. We just thank you so much for this day. For it's in Christ's name, I pray. So now I got a question for you guys. Where are you with God, and where are you with your A-T-T-I-T-U-D-E? Get right with God, trust Him, and get in His Word daily and increase your ability to improve your A-T-T-I-T-U-D-E. Hey, let me pray us out this morning, man. Heavenly Father, thank you so much uh, for the Scriptures and the words. Man, thank you for Joseph. I, I love his story. I like to read his entire story and, and how he stayed so positive through everything that was going on with him and how he stayed so connected to you. I just ask you to be with these men, help them to stay positive, help them to be connected to you, dear God, and just uh, keep us all in your arms. So we just thank you so much for our Savior, Jesus Christ, for it's in his name we pray. Amen. Guys, great to, great to be with you again today. See you tomorrow.